Mr. Duffy. Uh, thank you. Um, just quickly, I want to go back to some of the other questions that I'd asked. Um, what institutions, again, are you monitoring? You have nine of them, right, for financial data? Um, in in so, what respect, Congressman? So, so what, what, what institutions are you getting financial data from? Uh, we're, we're looking, and, and you know, through a variety of contexts, we uh, take data from uh, the institutions that are under our primary jurisdiction, banks and credit unions, uh, over $10 billion in assets as well as non-banks. So from all of them you're collecting financial data? It, the extent of the data may vary based upon their business model and the type of uh, operations they have. Okay. And again, you're not willing to provide the letters of request for that financial data to this committee, is that correct? Uh, the letters uh, themselves are, are confidential supervisory uh, information themselves. You know, we can uh, perhaps, you know, broader discuss how we could get to what you we could give you. But don't, don't the, we could give you. Uh, don't you think Americans have a right to know what financial institutions are providing you their financial data? Don't you think that's a, uh, an American's right to say, listen, I know the government's collecting my data. If I bank with, you know, X bank and I know they give my credit card transactions um, to the CFPB, don't they have a right to know that? And why won't you share that with us? So the extent that's done, Congressman, it's done through our supervisory process, just as it's done with the Federal Reserve, the FJC, the OCC, that's not my bank, bank regulators as well. But you're, but you're the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, right? And you protect consumers. Do you think consumers would be more apt to bank with the institutions that, collect, uh, that you collect data on or less likely to bank with those institutions? Uh, I believe it's problematic it would impact our ability to efficiently supervise institutions. That's right. Because and I also believe it could have unintended consequences for institutions as well. That's right. Because Americans don't want you to have their financial data. That's exactly right. That's the point. And so if they don't want you to have their financial data, don't take it or ask them permission. But you make the point for us. They don't want you to have the data, and you're taking it anyway under the auspices of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. You take their data, they don't want you to have it, and you don't care. I yield back.